Alright, hey guys, I this is Cade from The Best Gamers. Bit. I am recording this video, editing it, making I have the Overwatch whatever you want to call it, spray to show off my top 5 favorite PS4 games of all time. Mercy now, this a list would so definitely would have been seen it. my top 5 favorite games of all crazy. time, but oh, I, I couldn't get the footage from other consoles. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah. So at first at number 5 we have Destiny. Now this game has was one of my first games on my PlayStation and there's a lot of misconceptions that I actually really hate the game and I don't enjoy playing it that much. Now that's not true, I just don't play it as often as I used to. It's one of the defining games of our channel and it's held a special place in my heart. And the only real problem I have with it nowadays is that it's gotten really repetitive and I feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again until you go insane. And that's just something I couldn't handle doing for much longer. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. Okay, so up now at number four, we have For Honor. I am still pretty new to the game, I guess. I got the game, or I tried out the game in beta. And I just got it recently, so I'm technically a noob, but I know how to play, I know how to deal with people, plus I've got uh, Matthew and William to help me out, and they're really fun to play with, and that's another thing I really like about For Honor. It's so fun to play with friends, and the combat is amazing, and... I think that's really what I can respect about it is how like vivid the combat and everything is. I just ah oh, I love this game and I hope to play it a lot more. And uh, yeah, that's for honor for you. Up now at number four, we or number three, oh my gosh, we have uh, GTA V. Uh, this game is very fun, very free, very action-packed. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's one of the games that I play a lot with Matthew and William because we just never get t tired of it. We can do whatever we want, we can go to each other's apartments, we can go explore around Los Santos, we can even go shoot old ladies if we wanted to, that's really not that fun to do, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> getting shot by cops is also very not fun. Anyway, that's all I have to say about GTA. What you're all thinking. What? How is this not number one? What could possibly beat this? Well, number one beats this very... not by much. That's all I can say. Because this game is very respected by me, very respected by other players, and I love it. I love everything about it. I love... The repetition, I love how it's an objective based shooter. It's not all about the kills. Sure, getting kills is nice and it does help, but mostly you want to stay on the objective and work as a team. It's very team work based, and that's just something I really love about Overwatch. I bought the game when it first came out, I tried it out when it was in beta, and I've fallen in love. I I play it when I'm bored, I play it when I'm sad, I play it when I'm happy, 
I even play it when I'm irritated. Like, if I need to calm down, I play Overwatch. Surprisingly. I don't play competitive, I just play quick play, but... That's just what's great about it. I can play it whenever I want, and... It just fits any mood. It doesn't matter what mood you're in, you can play Overwatch. And you'll love the game, because it's so lovable. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Here we are, number one, Kingdom Hearts, the 1.5 plus 2.5 remix. Specifically, I love Kingdom Hearts 2, but the whole series is something that's from my childhood, something that I love very much, and I will never get tired of it. Like, okay, so here's the thing, people say that Kingdom Hearts is a Disney game, and it's for kids, but it's not. It's very dark, it's very, it's not really that violent, but, um, it's got great combat, great story, um, I think the thing that I can definitely respect about it is how it's so much more fast paced compared to other Square Enix games. Like, you look at Final Fantasy, like, 1 and 2 and 7, before Final Fantasy 15, basically, and it's so slow. It moves so slowly and you don't feel like you're that into the combat. And I, my mind moves very fast, so I like to play this game because you have to make your decisions fast and make them good, or else you're just not going to work out in the end. Um, Square Enix definitely did a good job. I respect that there's Disney characters in the game. It makes the game a lot more fun and childhood based. It's not for everyone. It's just my favorite game. And I think it's my favorite.